I'm ready for action. such an amazing week back at Gamers and Geeks talking with all the great celebrities out there if you got to see all the Rob Zombie you know interviews we did I mean with the cast of House of a Thousand Corpses make sure to check that out that's excellent but tonight we're uh, you know Tuesday we put out a great interview with our buddy Jim Bob from Area 51 Collectibles and you know what it was just not good enough to do a you know to do it justice we have to have a part two so we're about to be talking about Area 51 Collectibles Interview 2, Volume 2 with Jim Bob. So let's get right to this. Hey man! Holy shit! Oh my god! Hey. Oh, Area hey, 51 Collectibles, man! Oh, you boy, you Nightcrawler! Hey. Are you a fucking X-Men? Holy hard. shit! This man right here, the guy we're talking about, Arrow of 51 Collectibles. My uh -huh. man, you scared the shit out of me. I needed to get some beer after that. I'm sorry about that. This guy, uh, first off, TGIF, hope you all have a great Friday night, but this is the guy. The comics are, if you always want to know where we get the great collectibles, all the great stuff that you see in the set, Jim Bob right here is the man. To talk to from Area 51 Collectibles, man. How are you doing? Nice, I'm dude. Good. Let's talk about some of your products, dude. Thank you for that wonderful introduction, DK. Well, it scared well, the shit out of me as well. Are, 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 are you Nightcrawler? No, no, no. Don't, don't be fucking am, with me now. I am part ninja. All right, because I, I saw that Nightcrawler statue oh, yeah. you had. I almost wanted to buy that at uh, well, the Gamers of Geeks, man. man yeah, that, love. Was, that was a good time. I, I enjoyed that. It was oh, epic. Man. We've been hanging out since, uh, I mean, you, you guys probably seen that we've uh, been running each other uh, at different Comic Cons and events since, I mean, well before Huntsville. We've ran into each other, for, you know, a couple times, and I've seen some of your awesome collectibles. I mean, everything. You have up randomly with some of my stuff. Oh, man, every, everything from Ninja Turtles to Star Wars back. Now, this, you got the whole set of Ninja Turtles, don't you? And this is a guy. Life-size Ninja Turtles. And so this is the man that provided it. So this is a guy that literally... And, uh, you know, I, I try not to cuss too much on the show, but I should you not. This is the guy the PG. that, uh, oh, PG-13, please. Okay. But, uh, you know, we uh, we get most of our collectibles from this guy. Uh, Area 51 collectibles is uh, everything. If you've seen anything Star Wars in the background, if you've seen anything Ninja Turtles, this is the man to go to. This is the guy that is literally I've run into at almost every convention I've been at. And I'm like, holy shit, this guy's got the coolest stuff. And we started finally, you know, putting content together this past year, you know, and, and the wild and craziness of the crisis of 2020. Yes, yes. But the conference is a great thing to bring us a lot of joy. I mean, I love going, to, I love seeing all what, if you notice when I get people in my booth, all the cosplayers that come by, I always take pictures of them. I say, hey, and they love that. The That's I why they dress up, because they want to show off their costumes. You know, and I see some people come to these conferences, and maybe it's their first one, you know, and they're kind of like, oh, uh, what do I do? And, you know, and it's like, hey, you know, you guys, you get that extend out to them. They're like, come on. Yes, you yes. But you go to the conference, dress up, dress up. You know, it might, it might not be that great, but dress up. Enjoy the conference. My first conference I didn't. In, I didn't get to enjoy it. I didn't, you know, uh, enter the raffle, participate, you know, get autographs, you know, experience. So then, my first one, I was just kind of there, and I felt I was tied to my boot, you know, because I didn't really. Even though I had some help, I had some relief, but I didn't really branch out. And then when I started doing it, man, I got meeting all the actors and the artists, and finding out the the artists that were that were drawing my comic books that I love so much I didn't even know was the same writers and Chris Claremont signed some of my stuff I got an X-Men sign, signed by him I've got uh, uh, a couple of Wolverines he signed for me and uh, Sinistar and uh, 
and the dude, if you ever met Chris Claremont, I think you have, he loves to talk. Yeah, he you know loves to talk. Dude. He's a cool dude. He just engages you. But just experiencing, you know, getting into it, man. Don't walk around there like like you're lost, you know. And I know a lot of people, but, but uh, don't feel, don't be afraid to uh, get yourself involved in the conference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, the Comic Con conventions, I mean, how about having fun? fun. Country, especially this year. I mean, the, the great thing about this year, especially in a crisis, yeah, it's coming back. Every event has been meeting the guidelines of keeping us safe and fun for all of us. Yeah. I mean, I'd say wear a mask right now, but uh, well, we, we got about twenty of them in front of us. So, well, we <laughs> both have, we both have uh, we have clean bills of health from uh, Dr. Oh, yeah, Strange, Dr. Dr. Strange, Dr. Dr. Who, Dr. Fate. Dr. Wells, and even the, the list keeps on going. Well, Dr. Octopus. Oh, yeah. Dr. Right oh, my God. That's, that's right. where I got mine. So, anyway, I'll tell you what. I brought some goodies I want to share with you. Some, uh, and some, with all of you. Yes, with all of you. And uh, some pieces that, that are pretty awesome, really rare finds that I stumbled on. And uh, some things I keep, some things I pass on, some things I enjoy for joy. For a while and then I'll pass them on to someone else to enjoy. But this right here, I'm currently enjoying this. I have two of these, but uh, one's in my living room. And uh, this is a Spider Man lamp. And uh, he's pretty cool, you know. He's got, uh, you got your, you got a little figure of Spider Man here. He's on, a, oh he's on my top God, of the building. You know, the lamp screen, yeah, that is so lamp, epic. Lamp screen, you got them all around there. Little tower. So, but yeah, yeah, you can hit up Area 51 for these uh, collectibles, for these Tell you what, amazing yeah. masterpieces. Push this little button right here. I'm, I'm going, I'm going. Besides Area 51 collectibles, I've never seen that in any other comic that's, shop, any other event. That's where you get in the whole country. That's why this is the man I, you know, we, we hit up for all of our great merch. I appreciate that. But uh, I just love this piece. It's so beautiful. Plays that song and he moves to the music. It's so awesome. He dances so, to it. I yeah, love he that. Dances to it. And when he puts his web out there, it goes, Flip! you know, it's fantastic. So, oh, and then, right there, yeah. When you turn him off, he. He uh, he moves, and then the light and you got the comes off. Amazing! It's, it's actually going around. through the song. Yeah, there you go. So, so you got the music, the lamp, the light, yes. and the animatronics. That yes. is so epic, isn't that epic? Indeed, it is. So I'll share another one with you. Uh, this one I got from a local boy, and um, he was he's a he's a collector. I love this dude, uh, but he's got a uh, condition where He's like, uh, he can't sleep. He never actually sleeps, he tells me. He's, he, he just kind of rests himself. He's got, you know, and... Uh, yeah, and it's awesome uh, turn. yeah, I don't know what it's called, but... but uh, Yeah, I don't know the title circuit. Yeah, but, it, but, it's, but it's interesting. But he's really a nice kid, and, and uh, shoot, I'd love to take him to a con sometime or something. But I've been trading with him and uh, selling him stuff and buying stuff, and it's really fun. But he, he hooked me up with this guy... And um, check this dude out. Oh my god, another tree epic. beard. What? Tree beard. Look at the detail on that tree beard. Oh my god, that is epic. You know, that is. Now his, his one of the sunglasses there. down on this one. Yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah, no kidding. And uh, his hands are big enough. Sorry to let you guys see it. Uh, there's actually figures which I've ordered from another uh, friend of mine at Sparks Toys in Oklahoma City. He's sending me the Barry and Pippin that fit in his hands. <laughs> that's crazy. That almost so, looks like something out of Stranger Things, man. That is, yeah, well, that's Lord of the Rings. I, that, that's not where it came from. That was that Lord of the Rings. Here. Now, check this out. He's got lots of leaves on him, but... What? <laughs> Alright, see, this, look, this look. is the reason why we hit up Area 51 collectors. Look at his, look at his eyes. And they're lighting up the yeah. eyes light up too. We gotta turn that so the fans can see or hit the button again. And his, yes. and his mouth yes. moves. That thing he's got a little, a little oh tongue my in there God. too. I don't know where is this where's this button at? I lost it. There's a lot of leaves on here. It's a There's lot of leaves and a couple of buttons, man. 
And when he says, uh, Gandalf said to keep you safe, and safe is where I'll keep you. I am no tree. I am an ink. Yes, you are. That I is epic. And that was a good movie I franchise. Like the Remus. I love it. Exactly. Yes. Oh Epic. my god. Now this actually sits in my living room too on my shelf. You gotta give Lord of the Rings props for every fantasy epic, you know, the original Tolkien books, you know. Right, yeah. Uh, that that made fantasy uh and you know uh, popular. So so uh yeah man, so you, you just gotta give props to that. It's just like I'm a Marvel fan, but uh I have to give props oh, to DC yeah. because that's where it began. Yeah, Marvel, yeah. DC. I mean, it, it, it it's it's not gonna be bad if you're fans of both. No, I know. It's like the yeah. Jackies and the Star Wars. You know, I love Star Wars, but I cannot neglect Star Trek because Star Trek is where it all began. Hey, have you seen Discovery? Oh my God, they got the actual guy who was, uh, oh man, Manchester Black from season five. Oh of, yeah, uh, or, uh, it was four or five of. Uh, Supergirl is actually one of the main characters on Discovery now. Oh wow! So, so that, the new, that's, the new that's that's Star Trek Discovery shout out, yeah, right, with the girl from Walking Dead, right? Yeah, yes. Um, you know, I have not seen seen one of those. I I've only seen a few clips, but every time I see one, I was like, oh my god! Yeah, and I started watching the show, and it's it, it's anything for like that's the great thing about you know in, in the world of Comic Con and the world of superheroes. You know, whether it be Walking Dead horror, and that, that's something I think we're focusing on is uh, this month is stuff of a Halloween phase and all that is as if everybody else does in the country. I mean, yes. it's October. And on Halloween, people wear masks. I know, and that's, that's a great thing. It's like, so I got this one. Oh, Ultra Line. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I know you pulled it out from the back, so you thought it was Ultron. That's the. Uh, that's Optimus Prime. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Optimus Prime. He, he pulled the mask out from the back. So I'm like, sorry. Like, Forgive me. The, the, oh, see the, I'm uh, so the, the hills right here, that is like literally, if it was fully silver, that looks just like Ultron. Do you notice what's happening? He is doing the, oh my god, the lights are showing. Oh my god, he's doing the. Your voice is. It transposes your voice. So it's voice change. This is epic. So it's, so you talk, that mic right there is picking up, well, it was picking up your voice. It was. Making it go in there. So now, so now you put this That is on. Optimus Prime. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, Optimus Prime. Very, look, highly detailed, beautiful beast. Uh, they sold these for a short it time. Look, it did look like Ultron pulling out from the back. Because, like, when he was saying Ultron, I, I did not he, think... he was pulling it out from the bag of, and sitting on a table. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're, just... they're similar in shape. <laughs> But as soon as I looked forward, I was like, oh shit, Optimus. <clears throat> I didn't there is actually an Ultron right there, but we'll get back there's to that a, in a minute. But I, mean, I, I apologize. I did not think it was Ultron. Oh, I knew it was Optimus Prime. It just came out of my mouth. <laughs> but anyway, that is epic. So that is not all. So. Oh my god, they do the Transformers. Yeah. The, yes, and this is Transformers. Oh, the, that's yeah. the actual Transformers. Right. And? Bring it on. Oh my god. Uh, how Must much? Just how much? Oh! Let's roll out Autobots incoming. If, if this talks to me, I'm sorry to y'all. <laughs> if he keeps pushing buttons and this talks any more funny <laughs> shit slings, I might have to buy it from Jim. He talks, he talks a lot. Well, you know, the thing about it is. Honestly, this probably don't fuck around. He never has. has. <laughs> and uh, I love your helmet collection. Oh, thank like, you uh, so Mandalorian, much. and you got your Rebel helmet. Flash. Uh, oh, yeah. We, yeah if y'all can see from the camera angle, I mean, we're fans of DC and Marvel, but, I mean, the old school DC of the, uh, you know, the legion of superheroes, the, the ring right there. Yeah, the, uh, right on. The old school, but, yeah. the, oh, my gosh. Like, we, we love a lot more. I mean, we're also Marvel fans, but, hey, you see Star Wars fans, all that. A little bit well, of tricky fans, but I got to say, the... Uh, this right there, though. Oh my God, that's yes, epic! Isn't it? Well, I tell you what, man. Um, you don't have to buy one because this one's yours. Yeah. No, no, you're you're playing around, right? No, I'm not. So. You're joking. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh. So, oh man, enjoy um, that. No, um, I'm not trying 
Terry. Uh, <laughs> no, this, this. Jesus Christ, that's so awesome. Jim Bob, you're, All right, you're, you're right. epic, man. Oh, man. Yeah. No, no wait, uh, I this. Yeah. Oh, this is. Uh, Let me drink my beer, be a little more. Yeah, I, I, I need to have some beer. I'm going cheers. Uh, so, funny story over the weekend. Hanging out with uh, Jim Bob and Area 51 Collectibles at Gamers and Geeks. And this man was having a lot of trouble setting up because, uh, you know, shit happens sometimes. Yeah, my help did not show. Well, totally I, I didn't want to go into the detail. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, if I had a lightsaber and they were right here right now, I'd say I love you and I forgive you. But Exactly. Anyway. But, oh, my God. Like, no, it, it was uh, wild enough to where, you know, my buddy Jim Bob, he was... It's like, all right, I, I, had to, I had to pay some people for help to <laughs> off yeah, of the truck. And, uh, you know, he's like, I, I, I'll, I'll throw him a little bit of cash. I, I throw him, I was like, no, it was like, like 10, ten bucks. Ten bucks. Just gave 10 bucks to help him load. <laughs> and I'm like, he's like, uh, all right, I'll, I'll pay you the cash back. Or he's like, uh, or uh, I'll throw you a gift. I was like, well, I'll speak, I was thinking when you're going to give me one of those little Ninja Turtles, man. Oh, my God. This is how awesome this guy is. Holy shit. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy it. I'm going to wear it before wear the it. video's over. Oh, my God. Now, yeah, that is epic. You remember the dude that had the bumblebee suit? Hey, you know, yeah. oh, my God. He bought the, uh, the Smoky Mountain. Yes. The Great Smoky Mountain yes. Comic yes. Expo, which uh, I, I don't know if you heard yet from them. Oh, they yeah, I have. I mean, have gave us an invite back for next year. And they oh, are actually, it. they made the news. Uh, in Newport, Tennessee, and they're getting an actual use of it. I think, uh, I don't want to rush it on that, but I think they were getting uh, their actual convention center. They are. Gatlinburg. They're yeah. going to the Gatlinburg Convention Center, and it's going to be great. That was one of my, that was so fun. It was, man. I had so to, because the people were so cool, and those Walking Dead guys, some actors from The Walking Dead, and the, and oh, the yeah, you got, uh, and you got, uh, what was it, Josh uh, Turner, yeah. all the way from um, Jose Sanchez. Yeah, and Chris uh, Lang, and everybody else. Was. And, yeah, and, uh, and just hang out with those guys. It was so much fun. We were playing music. We got to party with uh, Eddie singers. Price. Eddie Price. Uh, he's, if you got Topps cards, um, you have his art. And uh, this dude's awesome. He's a great artist. But, yeah, not only that. Spoon, that 3D guy. Oh yeah, the three. Oh my God, we got also uh, you know besides that, Carrie Means. Man. Yeah, Carrie Means is awesome. He's a good. He's, he's we he's pretty hilarious. much all partied at the after party to like three in the morning. We had the, a whole cast from oh well, not the whole cast but some of the cast from Sandlot there. Yeah. We had you know some of the Aqua Teen Hunger Force. John yeah. Harris the Spring was there. Of the girl from we're, Sleepaway Camp. Yeah. And, and the and, funny thing was, we actually got so. Not wild, but into a party of the after party. But we all broke out the uh, the acoustic guitars. We had a jam set, and all she these was right guys. behind us filming us, yeah. like jamming. And I still, and I didn't see. find out till like I, I still haven't seen that video. I haven't either, but like, but it was fun. It's out there. You got all these little actors and act, you know, and they're artists, and they we're all singing, we're singing "Horse with No Name." They're all going la 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 la. Here comes Kate. Yeah, yeah, everybody. La, la. I knew. Yeah, it was so funny. It was fun. It was fun. We had You're playing the uh, the main like a rhythm through the song. I was trying yeah. to pick up on the uh, the electric like they are not electric because we were all acoustic. Trying to uh, lead in. There. I was trying to do the the is like yeah you can barely hear it. Yeah, <laughs> but it was cool. We had a great time. But yeah, man, it's fun. Um, see you at the next con. Gonna be fantastic. Oh, we're know. actually we got a couple coming up, man. I want to uh, see if you're available for. So this weekend, uh, this weekend, this weekend, and we don't even have to travel for this one. Oh, it's virtual. It was virtual. supposed to be. Yeah, I don't like those. It, it, <laughs> everybody's adapting. Right, so, like you got to adapt to survive in twenty. You know, twenty. I don't know how that travel. would work for me. I don't know. I mean, if you saw storefront. the beginning of this year, uh, a funny thing, if you've seen Comic Star at the beginning of this year after Pensacon, mm -hmm. we did about 25 celebrity interviews. Oh. And, 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 and it, kind of, uh, it kind of pissed me off. I want to assume Zoom. Right. Because afterwards, Zooming started becoming a thing. And I'm yes. like, oh my God, I, I hit up my celebrity friend, you know, friends for uh, celebrity interviews through Messenger on Facebook. And then, boom. 
Zoom was like a thing that went right around me. Where's my cup? Right, <laughs> right, no doubt. Well, I'm, I'm in. Uh, I know uh, I'm already signed up for the next Smoky Mountain and for Huntsville. So, good, good. But that's yeah. April and July, and that one's on my birthday. In uh, oh. Smoky Mountain one is in July, Smoky right? Mountain? Yeah. Is that oh, no, I think that's April. You're right, you're right. So it's going to be Huntsville. In July, July thirty first is my birthday. Yeah, and even uh, oh. the spring, uh, the spring con uh, is what they're going to do at Gamer Geeks too. We are, we are actually already got an invite for that as well. He, I talked to him extensively last night. Tommy's awesome. Yeah, he's a good guy, and he wants me. I don't know what we're going to do, but you may see an Area fifty one set up over there, and I might go into town every now and then. I don't know what's going how it's going to work out. And you know, Either that needs to happen. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a it's a big town, you know. It's like Mobile, Alabama. Oh yeah. So and gamers and geeks, if you live in Mobile or if you go into Mobile, go by gamers and geeks because that place is so. The, it's we had a, so much fun this weekend. Well, that place was epic. I well, mean, without a event happening or, or yes, not. that's what I mean. What, the what they got going. You come in, all your gamer stuff is there. You counter you like that. Uh, you know. All the, all the different kind of table games and video yeah, games. If, if you're in the World of Warcraft, the, you know, the just board games, Dungeons and Dragons, Dragons yeah. all that stuff. <laughs> and then in the back, uh, they got a full on 80s arcade with the dim lights, Mortal Kombat, you know, the actual old machines. And I think it's like $20 for the whole day or something. Yeah, or? You pay, no, you pay like 10 bucks and you play till midnight. Oh. And we'll play, that's what it was last night or the other night. Oh, okay. $10 and okay. you play. And, and there the, you go, like they got the that's a perfect setup. Yeah, and then they've got all these tables out where people, all the gamers come and play. And and and, and then in the back they've got a prop shop where these guys make helmets and they make uh, they three D print weapons and swords and whatever you need, you know. And then uh, I don't know what the other guy does, but they have all these different elements. One of the coolest things that I thought about that at that back little prop shop, mm -hmm. we walked through there and you saw the chair back there for yeah. everybody to sit down, take a picture with. Lining up with the door where they were actually making the props, saw so this like it was like a big Freddy Krueger looking slash Jason yeah, yeah, yeah. next to it, and I'm like, oh my god, is that going on sale? Like that? Did you see it? That that I looked didn't awesome. That. I didn't even know that was going to be something that was going to be on sale or what, or if that was going to be in the Halloween little area that they're creating right. for gamers and geeks. But that that was epic. That, that was, was their there. art, their uh, art hallway. And they wouldn't put artwork there, and they sold that artwork. They had like a, uh, I think they had a contest or something with it too. That hallway going down, but yeah, it, it was great. They've got such a cool setup because it's gamers and geeks, and you go in there, and it's got all the. And these are not all the same. These are separate businesses. The one guy owns the yeah. The, Tony the Lynch and our, our friend. There's also the uh, one of the fellow super fans from the Gulf Coast C. Okay. okay. Yeah, and and so the lady owns the arcade and these other guys run the prop shop and they you know so they're they're uh, you know they're all they're, they're all, all connected fine, man. they're all in awesome. line but but it's this place it's like a it's like a wonderland for gamers and geeks you know it, so, it's like besides a, like you, you see a billboard obviously or a logo in front of any building ever but you see this logo and it's like it looks like it's like an old closed down jail, you know, Dell Champs mm -hmm. or something, but with a great badass, you know, build all the hard work front. on the windows. And then the you walk apart. in and you're in nerd heaven. Exactly. Like you, you, you walk out and you're like, no, I can't spend enough. <laughs> <laughs> and that's scary. Because, you know, I mean, we buy, we spend like a hundred bucks on a Jumanji game. Oh, just, no. just that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That was our first time there, just as fans. So that place is epic. Yeah, it's a wonderful place. I enjoyed it so much. But anyways, so yeah, man. Oh, I hope you uh, like it. I like the little, uh, you know, let's get the little. Uh, the, the, this is mind blowing. Like, oh, oh my god, he. I I, I feel pranked because no. this guy. Did, I, I mentioned this this mask, like a uh, you know this helmet, uh, a couple of times that we ran yeah. into the church. I know awesome he wanted it. So. And oh, oh my god, dude, Jim Bob. It's gonna look so good on the show. Bless you, man. man I appreciate Area 51 comics, you got, or not comics. I keep saying comics. Well, let me tell you. Collectibles. If you're in Area 51 collectibles. If you're in Pensacola, 
Uh, you can go down to Antiques and More. It's on Navy Boulevard, 3929, West Navy Boulevard, and you go in there. And uh, my shop's inside there, and I got a lot of stuff in there. But otherwise, you can get pretty much anything you want online. You just hit me up on Facebook at uh, Area 51 Collectibles. And I can hook you up. Don't miss that out, because, like, like, seriously, if you're seeing in the background, like, oh, Comic Sir, you got some cool shit back there. That's where we got it from. Jim Bob at Area 51 Collectibles. I love what you did with the Stormtrooper, though. I, I, and I love the pose, you know, he's wet, his weapon's ready, and, uh, but you put... He, he looks confused Empire. at the angle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you put the Empire insignia on his, on oh, his yes. chest right there. And, and then uh, you got the, the Star Wars arcade right next to him. Yes, excellent. Beautiful, beautiful setup. So. Which uh, is a funny thing on the Star Wars uh, arcade. Uh, this is one, not something I got from you, uh, but it was something you mentioned, the arcade one-ups. Yes. You mentioned that to me, uh, and literally I saw it. I don't know how it popped up on my feed, but like two days later, oh, I yeah. dropped a grand on that. I was like, oh, wow. I was like, oh, Star Wars Arcade. That's that the original. All three, the, all the games? Yeah, that is the OG okay. uh, that they pulled up. Has the red five standing by. <laughs> little sticks. And, and I would not have found one. that if you didn't mention that to me. Oh, so, well, would it be a special thing? thank you? Yes, yeah, yeah, so well, you're quite welcome. But Area one day we have a tournament. Every Area 51 collectibles. Make sure to check them out. Jim Bob and like it, 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 like this is the dude you want to hit up if you want anything awesome. Because seriously, if he doesn't have it, he'll find it. I mean, like right there, proof right there. You got the yeah. Can we bring up the Spider Man one more time? Oh, like, that's all. Like, oh, oh, it's right there. Well, well yeah. Spider Man can take us out. Let's see. Oh, it, it, it could take us out. It could, it, it could kick our asses out. Well, yeah, and that. that oh, no, one second, one second, one second. Where's the little button here? Uh -huh. Oh, we got that. Yeah. The button's right up. No, but. Spider Man, Spider Man, he does whatever a spark can. In the same, in his time, and she leaves just like vines. Oh, my God. Here comes the Spider Man. So make sure to check out Area 51 Collectibles and. Comic center and everything that we do, like this dude Beautiful. is a guy that makes everything about this channel yeah, prop wise this man, happen. This man, oh no, brains. He, 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 he's trying to make us look better. He, but this one happened without. If you're not able to get there, you get to meet the stars. You get to meet the artists, and uh, so so hey, thank you. Oh, thank dude. You. And thank you for making my experience at the cons even better. Dude, so. Always. So, uh, comic star, like, subscribe. Remember, what the only channel has a clean bill of health from Dr. Doom, Dr. Strange, Dr. Fate, Dr. Who, Dr. Otto Octavius slash Octopus, and yes, Dr. Evil from oh, yes, House yes. of a Thousand Courses, which, well, I, I gotta say, just as a laugh. Was that not so crazy when we got to meet that dude and hang out and party with him? Like, Sitting down at the table, right? Was a tow truck driver? Dude, he stood up. Yeah, the oh. car's ready. But when we did our it's interview, him. he stood up. And I, he was like, he's, he's like, like two feet. Yeah, he's saying six, uh, six, eight. I'm like, no, I'm six, two. Mm. And the dude stood up. I'm like, holy shit. It's eight foot tall, damn near. And cameraman Mike looked like he was a bitch. <laughs> he looked like a gnome. It, it was hilarious. But yeah, comics are... Like, subscribe. Y'all have a great Friday night, TGIF, and we will see you in the multiverse. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ming Chen from AMC's Comic Book Men, and you should like, subscribe, watch, and tell all your other friends to like and subscribe, Comic Insider. I'm afraid you. I'm afraid you. You probably watch it. Look inside.